SBU Smash Bros Universe. Microphone check one two is your mic on? Did you see that Nick Fury? Yes. Did I you? believe so. No, sorry. The Nick Fury. <laughs> Captain Britain, mm-hmm. Black Panther as Star Lord, mm-hmm. Zombie Cap versus Bucky, and I think that was it, wasn't it? Yep. And then Iron Man or Robert Downey Jr. is coming back to voice Tony Stark in one episode. One what, episode. Yeah. That's it? Well, I think what I read it like specified one episode. Like each time I read it, it only said one episode. So I feel like it'd be weird if they all just specified that. Like I feel like it's only one episode, but. Mm. So they'll just find a voice actor for all his smaller stuff in the other. Because he has, they're doing an episode per movie, correct? I think so. That'd be because he's a, kind of in a lot of them. He's in like eleven, yeah. I think, or the twenty-three. Basically, the what if series can go on forever because forever. Because again, they're just forever. Also, so I one sec. Hello, everybody. Welcome, one and all, to the F Word Podcast, the best, the best podcast you'll never know. God, sorry, tongue tied. Uh, part of the Scheduled Podcast Network, uh, sponsored by Conexus. Hit that hashtag, Conexus Money Talk, y'all. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's had a good week. Um, not surprised if you are one of the 10 million people that decided to get Disney+. Plus. I am not. My brother did, though. You did. Oh. Yeah. See, I did this I haven't time. downloaded it, though. I'm the, good, I'm the good brother on this case because now I got it, and then you can piggyback off well, of it. Well, did you buy it yourself? No. Oh, no, no, no. But, his? but yeah, we're using my Netflix. Mice. So I use his Netflix, okay. so it kind of works out. Fair trade. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Thanks again for stopping by on another week. It's me, your host G, with Vass and Anthony. And uh, how was your guys' week? It was okay. Yeah, it was all right. Oh, I don't think anything. Chill. It's been a weird week because like I had a week off of school and I came back mm-hmm. on Tuesday, and it's just like the timeline. Like I keep, I keep forgetting what day is what day. Like, I always have no idea if it's Monday or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, this has been one of those weeks where I just don't have a track of time. I did, however. So, Nick uh, is my uncle, the one who's on the podcast prior to this. And he's getting me the Dragon Ball Z manga box set for Christmas. Oh. And well, I told him. That's just to ruin the surprise. Well, I told him. Because I said, this is what I want. Yeah, and it was on uh, sale. Okay. It's $270. Wow. And it that's was on sale lot. for 180 So, I said, listen, man, I will split costs if you want. But, like, buy this now. Like, do yeah. it. And he's just bought it 100% for me, which was very nice because, yeah, like, it's back up to 220 right now. Oh, wow. So it's, like, going up. But I got the Dragon Ball, like, the original box set myself because mm-hmm. it was only, like, just over 100 bucks. I'm like, what, whatever. Yeah. And I started reading it. And it's just, oh, my God. It's so, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to finally mm-hmm. read the entire Dragon Ball story. You should have just stopped that. I'm so excited to finally read. <laughs> I read it all the time. <laughs> but, uh, fuck, I'm just excited because the manga or the comic book, like, the comic version of Dragon Ball. Is yeah. it a manja? No. Okay, just check. Oh, maybe it could be. I'm <laughs> kidding. Wow. Uh, but that's like the canon, like the only canon like yeah, version yeah. of Dragon Ball, mm-hmm. like the original. So that's it'd be nice to actually read it and like see yeah. how it doesn't change because they didn't censor it at all. Like this mm. box set because they, it the original Dragon Ball is very jokey and very pervy. Yeah. Like with just Bulma, like the main female character, like she's nude quite a bit. It's like not a sexual, like not like nobody's getting fucked, but it's just like she's just nude and shit like that. Yeah. So it's cool they left it unaltered. Hmm. That's it. Super cool. Interesting. Uh, are any of you guys going to go? See, uh, are any of you guys going to go see Ford versus Ferrari this weekend? Actually, not this I, weekend. I but like on Sunday. I have free passes. Oh, Actually, and, no, I can't even see it for the first two weeks because it's a Disney movie. And Jojo Rabbit. Oh, that's out too. I saw it. You, you saw it? Was it good? Oh, was it as good it. as it's it was really to be? good? Actually, it was like you don't know how to feel about it for quite a bit of it, and it, it makes you like you laugh, but you're also like. The themes are kind of off, but it's like it's, like, it's it makes funny, you but you also a little bit know too you shouldn't emotions. be laughing because it's like a yeah. Is it set in like the Nazis? Yeah, yeah. World War Two. Like, like I know it's set with like Hitler. I just didn't know from yeah, the trailer yeah. if it's actually like are, is World he War German? Th- the kid? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's 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 a like basically a Hitler youth okay. training oh. and stuff like that, and then they call him Jojo Rabbit for the kind of tease kind of thing. But you'll see if you watch it, you'll see so it. So is it like Calvin and Hobbes style thing where it's like 
Hitler is kind of like the Hobbes and he's Calvin. That's what it was supposed to be. Like a lot of people are saying it's like Calvin and Hobbes, but oh, okay, that got released. I wasn't sure. That's kind of to me. That's kind of a spoiler. I didn't oh, know what the thing no, that it was, that's but was, that's yeah. exactly what it is. It's yeah. like it's only I knew about he's that, talking like, yeah, to him a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very interesting and. Uh, Taika does a good job of like he'll play like the he funny directed side, it, right? directed, yeah. written everything. Like oh. he did the screenplay for because it it's an original book. He's the so man. He did everything about it, and like apparently it took a lot to convince Hollywood to let really? him do it. Uh, in a way, Hollywood yeah. didn't want to do <laughs> yeah. a Nazi movie. And yeah, that wasn't us. but it wasn't like pro. But it just it yeah, just gave Nazi. you a different visual in a satirical comedy sense. I'm and like nobody bitched about this movie. Yeah, Taika Waititi did a great job. Yeah. Uh, Sam Rockwell did an amazing job. Uh, Alfie Allen was really good in it. Very brief. Who was Alfie Allen? Uh, Theon. Oh yeah, he was in this. Uh, Scarlett right. Johansson's in this too. She right? does an amazing job yeah. as uh, Jojo's mom. Uh, there's one other actress in it. I, I don't know much about her, but she plays one of the one of the main characters. And Rebel Wilson's in there too. It's just kind of like comic relief in some spots. Too. Doing the Rebel Wilson thing. Yeah, I also it, sorry. Finish your review though. No, it's oh. basically that's it. Like it's a satirical comedy. Like you gotta watch it. It's kind of funny. It, it makes really you go through it. a mix of emotions. Like you're laughing, you're kind of cringing, like oh man, and then you know you're kind of sad in some moments too. So it's it's definitely very well done. Um. Yeah, definitely. But I'm really upset our theater isn't getting Jojo Rabbit or the Lighthouse because we advertised for the Lighthouse. Oh, really? And you didn't get but it. Our like our location in our city is not getting it. So if I want to see it, I don't have to go to you know buy from Cineplex, mm-hmm. which isn't a big issue. But it's nicer to have free passes. Yeah. I did see Doctor Sleep though. How was that? that have was you seen The Shining? Up, yes. Okay. That was a fucked up movie. I bet it was. I could. It just was an tell from amazing the movie. <laughs> amazing movie. But fucked up like this is how i imagine because i saw the shining last year for the first time okay because i was doing a book report mm-hmm. and i pretty much just ended up writing my essay on the shining because she just said oh you do a movie fact page you should like compare this book to the shining because i just said they were very similar i didn't yeah. actually finish the book i like yeah. didn't get halfway through it but i still got an 85 yeah but i didn't find it scary obviously because i just knew a lot of the shining spoilers and just shit like that mm-hmm. but this one is what i imagine people felt like watching the original shining it was imagine yeah fucking not hereditary level of scary, mm-hmm. but it had moments that were like easily just as fucked up as hereditary. Uh, jump scare style, or was it more just no, like it was situational? Like situational, like okay. fuck. There was a guy, the guy from Good Boys. I won't go into details, but the guy from Good Boys was in it, like the one of the main kids. Oh, the kids! And okay. just seeing him in this style of movie was so like just weird because he, hmm. last time I saw him in August, it was just like a funny fucking movie, yeah, and now yeah. he's like in this fucked up world but mm-hmm. very well done i want to see it again honestly ewan mcgregor it was weird because i've never seen him outside of obi-wan i don't think in a movie or like really really i don't think like at least i don't remember seeing him have you seen train spotting yeah i don't think so you should watch train spotting but it's just weird seeing him because he had like the different just normal accent and that was the only uh weird it wasn't bad it was just really mm-hmm. weird but mm-hmm. overall if you guys like go watch it mm-hmm. i went in blind yeah. And this was probably the best movie I've seen that I went in blind like without knowing anything yeah. about it. See, I haven't seen The Shining in a very long time. And I think I've only seen it through once fully. Um, other times I've just caught like bits and pieces and that's it. Like, you know, jumped into yeah. it halfway kind of thing or whatever. But uh, yeah, I can imagine it's messed up. And you get a glimpse of it again if you watch Ready Player One. So yes. So yeah, a little bit mm-hmm. of a thing about it. So it's like, oh, that was yeah, actually, I remember I that. Because me and G saw that. And yeah. I hadn't seen The Shining. Oh, so, okay. Like, that whole like segment was just like I understood it, but it's I, over your head a bit. Yeah. That yeah, fair enough. But they recreated like shots from mm-hmm. The Shining because mm-hmm. each shot they said like they took like very long to do because mm-hmm. they had to just make the shot like they tried doing it perfectly and it looked yeah. so good. Like just mm-hmm. everything was so nice. And we saw it in our like off brand IMAX theater, so yeah. it was just like oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys should get on that. It, it was, was off fuck. Yeah, it was. That's literally it. Review of Doctor Sleep. Fucked up, mm-hmm. but amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jojo Rabbit could fall into the same pretense then. Kind of messed up. Yeah, but yeah, no. amazingly done. <laughs> I don't know, because I don't want to... Is not gonna it say not it. messed up? It is, but I don't the, think it's like the same line of fucked up. Like, it could just be I like... I say oh, it was the same one, line. One could argue since... Jojo is worse. Hmm? One could argue Jojo is worse but not, because... like in the movie. Movie sense alone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, uh-huh. just see it. Because honestly... There's varying degrees of messed up. I would say this is probably <laughs> one of like more fucked up horror like i'm i'm really happy that steven like these movies are actually being done like in a horror like mm-hmm. a way that's not just a stereotypical horror movie where it's just you know that's a jump steven scare King. and like yeah. the main character like there's no stakes or whatever anything like that like it's actually like 
That's it's Stephen good, King for you. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, like, have you seen The Secret Window with Johnny Depp? No, I want to see more, though. Because it was I, a terrible movie. It wasn't that great by any means, but it kept you in suspense the whole time to the point of, like, it kind of did it too much. You're like, mm-hmm. okay, nothing's happening now. Oh. Um, but it was what it was. But that's the style he has kind of thing. I found it funny how there have been three Stephen King movies this year, and I didn't even realize. It. Like, I knew uh, Pet Cemetery. Like, I just, I knew they were Stephen King movies, but even, like, I want to see more because I think I've only seen both of the new It's and Doctor Sleep and The Shining. But I don't know. He's just a good guy. I like his stuff. I'm very interested in it. And that's it. Overall, good Who's film. Who's a good guy? Stephen King. Oh. Not Jojo Rabbit. Not Jojo Rabbit. Is Jojo Rabbit Hitler or is that the kid? No, it's Rabbit's the kid. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the kid. Okay, what's up next? I don't know. Are you guys you guys really went on a tear oh, there? Oh, last like, time. You decided to uh, fucking just go. Last time were walls. This time yeah. we keep bouncing. Wow. Um, all right. So obviously big news this week is Disney Plus is officially here. It was here as of Tuesday. Uh, 3.2 million mobile downloads. And then overall at launch, 10, probably north of 10 million subs that day. Mm-hmm. Um, my guess is I don't know if those numbers would be reflective in Netflix. Um, well, or what, what would be reflect like would be this if you can do the same thing because Netflix actually started with the delivery side of things, mm-hmm. then they transitioned to the actual streaming. Jeez, so it's hard to tell if they had an equal jump because theirs was actually gradual. It wasn't day one here go mm-hmm. boom. But Netflix also like there's no like big streaming service back when Netflix was made was there. So like, nope. yeah, it was yeah, kind of just like one. a new thing. Like now yeah. streaming services are just like everybody knows. People were pretty are. hesitant to mm-hmm. kind of jump into it right away. Um, like, I think I was even hesitant for a while. I was I still, I was still doing the blockbuster out. thing. I still love going every Tuesday because mm-hmm. it was like, that's the new release day. You know, go grab a couple of the new releases, grab some snacks and blah, blah, blah. You watch it. You're back. Uh, whatever. I Friday. remember though blockbuster like final sale and i just like meet my brother and i just bought like all the seasons of family guy mm. oh jeez i don't think i bought anything it's so that weird one. that i was a lot of crap shit because there yeah. wasn't much it's was picked clean right away mm-hmm. i can I, you know what the games would have probably been worth it more it was like by the mcdonald's wasn't it over here no, no it's by the one hotel okay. in between was it close okay that's right yeah i think blockbuster is one of those concepts that won't ever come back well there's like still you're, one no, I know there's still one, but I'm saying it's not going to come back. Like, there's things that are coming back like, mm. from nostalgia, but they've redid them, and they're like, oh, we're doing kind of the same thing, but not really. Like, Amazon opened a fucking store, and they're the reason why so many, like, that, why there's online stores to begin with, right? I don't know if Blockbuster is going to be the same. No. No, because... Given the fact that it's different than Amazon itself, like, that's just... Like, I don't know. A part of me was thinking, like, oh, I wonder if someone's going to come back and do one, but it's not going to work. Well, with GameStop and EB Games, like, well, I'll say more GameStop because actually EB Games is surprisingly doing well. There's so people tell me. What's the difference, but by the way? It's just. Are there two different companies? EB actually? Games is the Canadian version, oh, GameStop is the okay. American, but they're both owned by, like, a parent company. Okay. But, like, EB Games is just that. Splitting hairs out there. Yeah. But GameStop, like, I'd say the one, like, telltale sign that best. What is it? Blockbuster won't be coming back because it's due to the fact that GameStop is doing so like poorly, and people are like starting to just buy more digital things and like don't mm-hmm. care to actually go out and buy physical copies, which is stupid. Yeah. Because I myself love physical copies; it's just nice mm-hmm. to hold in your hand. Yeah, but if you never, if you never, if you grew up never experiencing a physical copy, then you have no idea what that me what, yeah. what that is, right? There's a connection there that doesn't resonate with you because you've established a connection based on something else, mm-hmm. which is something not physical like i buy physical all the time uh, and i i did buy digital once and that was lego marvel mm-hmm. but uh then it started to fuck up and then i had to call playstation and go oh. through the whole thing and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna buy physical don't really want to go through this ever again mm-hmm. over went, this game that i didn't even finish i went through a few uh I still buy some physical, but mostly I went through a digital kind of download phase where like Xbox had a massive sale. Yeah. So I bought, ended up buying six games for the price of two. Mm-hmm. So it was well worth it at that point. So that's where the digital kind of gets a little bit better than going out and physically buying the copy. I did get uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City mm-hmm. on my PS4. For like, what, five bucks? Yeah, it was super cheap mm-hmm. uh, through the store. and But it was a, a game I've played... At least, I would say at least 10 times, mm-hmm. front to back, maybe more. 
So it wasn't the worst thing in the world if it didn't work. And then I also got the Assassin's Creed Ezio trilogy okay. as well. So there's a bit of fibbing there. But again, I've played the trilogy numerous times. Yeah. So if it didn't work, I wouldn't be that hurt. And it was relatively cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks or I something. I still have the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, yeah. like, which oh, yeah. need to They're go. Right. But no, I don't, you know, I don't keep know. up. What for? There's no, they don't, they barely work. Those, My those Xbox is apparently matter. a collector's item now. There's the R2D2 version. Oh, cool. But I don't have the C3PO controller. It's like broken. I wonder if I should just hold on to the 360 because it'll get to the point where it's like worth a lot because it's like the nostalgia thing. But Did you have a special one, just a base uh, one? The Elite. The, awesome. bl- the all black Elite, one terabyte uh, hard drive, um, which was pretty big at the time. Mm-hmm. And usually those were the ones that didn't have the red ring. Red ring. But I did end up getting one. But after that, nothing. I never did. For nice. those lost, this all started by talking physical copies when well, I started Disney with Plus. Disney. No, I know. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> the pivot yeah. point was really the yeah. physical copy thing. I did get, uh, I got Soaf to go to Cornwall today to mm-hmm. go get. I didn't uh, know that game was coming out today. Or yeah, just, man. Like Jedi Fallen Jedi, Order. I didn't know Jedi it was Fallen coming Order. out like soon. Honestly. And I gave her detailed instructions because I'm pretty sure she had no idea. What were the detailed spot. instructions? I was, oh, really wasn't that much. But drew I said, a map? <laughs> no, a no, drawing no. of a map? No, man. It was uh, <laughs> it was Jedi, Last Jedi Fallen Order uh, PS4 version. I sent a picture. I said deluxe edition if available. If not available, just get the regular version. <laughs> I said it looks like this or whatever. If like... you get the regular version, I'll send it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't have the deluxe version. Oh, not okay. only that, the fucking thing was ninety dollars anyways. That's how much games cost. Yeah, that's the average. Game, that is why I was like, you missed the boat when they were like fifty bucks. No, I remember 60. 2011 MW3 60. Not even bucks. that. Recently, they were only like seventy yeah. to seventy five bucks. Now no, they they took a big jump recently, it and was I'm just 80 like, what the fuck? Earlier this year, mm-hmm. and then yeah, it got jumped to ninety now. Yeah. But that's why I don't buy digital anymore. Unless like I just I bought Days. No, what was it called? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, and that game fucking sucked. Now it's very good. I hear. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. And a lot like of I might things. download it again, but it was just awful, and you can't return anything online. I, I, like that's Steam. the probably the biggest problem. Mm-hmm. I bought it when it came out. I played it for a while because it was actually kind of fun in the beginning. But then mm-hmm. after I'm like, um. Uh, this is taking too long. I'm kind of lost. I don't know what to do. And then now I have seen gameplay and I'm like, that would be fun to go back. But I'm you know. too far gone now. There is some benefit to buying the physical because like REB Games has like that card system. So if you get up to like the red card only gives you a day grace, I, I imagine, for returning to full, like for a full exchange. Mm-hmm. Uh, once you get to like the gold level or the black level, those offer you more days on how how long you have to return the game if you don't like it. Um, so there's some incentive that way, whereas the digital, you're done. Mm-hmm. Like you can't pass it off to anything. You can't try to do uh, anything with it. It's just there. Well, and, if they even had like a seven day grace period on PlayStation, where if you buy it online and you mm-hmm. don't like it, like return it, or even if they had like I know Steam yeah, does. but think about it. Someone could crush the game in a day or two, yeah, which but, is normal, like, mm-hmm. and they'll return it. So then there's no profits, but the guy got to enjoy the game fully. I wouldn't say that's normal. It would take them a little bit longer because a lot of these games are a lot more involved. Yeah, but like you're if someone me picking, if, it's... if someone picked up Red Dead, yeah. there is no way unless mm-hmm. they burn through the story yeah. like for twenty. I think it's a. They wouldn't even enjoy it at that point. I think it's a yeah. twenty-hour campaign. But you think within a week someone could easily if treat. you have that time. Yeah, I well, still I've been playing Red Dead up until this yeah, past but you Monday. Dedicated full weekends to it. Like Friday, no, but I've been playing Friday after online. work all the way through Saturday all day, and then yeah. Sunday all day kind of thing. The majority of the people work, so True. they don't have that. Uh, they they can't devote that much yeah. time. But you can also do that with physical games too. But you lose all that value right away. But I'm just no, saying, you have seven days to do it. That's only if you get to that level. <laughs> Stop for a second. Stop what? <laughs> you guys are like talking semantics right now. What are you talking about? Go, just go. Are you having a stroke? No, yeah. I'm not having a stroke. Are you all right? I didn't know there wasn't any further discussion. I can hear you guys in okay, first of all, I can hear you guys now. Okay. In, like I've been hearing you guys for a while. The way that you guys sound, you're finishing, you've just started, you haven't finished, you've just started, you're just starting, he's finishing. So you guys need to just pause. I know you guys are yes excited and. this week. No, no, no. Yes and you guys are yes ending all over each other's faces right now, but there is a pause in between. But what? sometimes you don't need the pause. Why, why no, you what? do because just let it happen, man. Fine, go. Can you just be cool? Yeah. Just as once. Just once, yeah. Just, just once. be cool, please. I've been begging you guys for two and a half years to be cool. Now you guys finally are. Yeah, Fuck. sucks to suck. Anyways, on to the point. Yes, with Disney the Plus. with the physical copy, you you lose that value right away, and only if you get to that higher level do you get that perk of returning it within a week. But it's not for that hard full. to get to the perk. Ah, uh, yes and no. You I don't know. Get past red, and that's it. 
Yeah. Not I guess. Days. I guess so. But anyways. So anyways, Disney Plus came out. How is The Mandalorian? Well, is that right now? Of course it is. Well, that was the whole point, point of going then. into... I found what was your point now? For Disney Plus. What is it? The icons, because I was looking through the app on my mm-hmm. sister's phone. They have Spider-Man as an icon, which yeah. I found weird mm-hmm. because I know they can't have any of his like, live action movies because it's Sony. But they have Sony. There, they have um, the animated they have one because the they own stuff. TV yeah. rights. Though, yeah. which uh, isn't that weird? Like, I just, I just found that odd because he can't have his movies, but he can have like him as an icon. Separate things, man. Yeah, his That's movies not... aren't even actually on that yet. There's a lot of MCU movies uh, on there yet. They won't. Yeah, be. they're at all. No, because they're Sony owned. Like the Spider Man one is not on there. No, no, no. He's talking about the Spider Man. Okay, but I'm just saying the way other, you there's... jumped in, it sounded like you were saying they won't put oh, the Marvel no, ones on. Yeah. That's why you need a pause. Oh, oh my god! god. Stop riding it. my dick. No, you guys are riding each other's right now. Yeah, you're it's welcome. really weird yeah. to watch. It's really weird to watch. Well, welcome to our world. <laughs> Except you're having the conversation with yourself, not us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so Mandalorian. Mandalorian. It's good. First episode. Are you guys doing like... Let's do it by episode. Is it just a talk or is this like an in-depth Game of Thrones style like breakdown? Uh, no, we can, man, bre- we'll we can break down, down a few things. 30 minutes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Two 30-minute episodes? I don't know. There's a decent amount there. Like it kind of delves into... You get a glimpse of like snippets from the lore, mm-hmm. but you have to like... You have to read between the lines, look at the backstory and what that actually means for the overarching thing and who this character is kind of thing. For those who don't know, this isn't Boba Fett or Jango Fett. This is set after this is five years, you said, after Return of the Jedi? Yep, five years. Um, And it's following another bounty hunter Call they call him the Mandalorian? Is that what I? No, no. I'm pretty sure that's just his like. They type, or is that he the, actually has a name, but like basically Mandalorians, uh, a race almost of people. They come from the they they come tribe. from like the a tribe almost. They come from like the planet Mando. Oh, I don't know. I didn't, something like something like that. Exactly yeah, they come from Mandalorian. What's like, his name? Do they have his head in the show yet? I think they said it in the second episode, but like I missed it. And yeah, it I, just, I, I totally missed it. Was it, like too. A, it was it's close to Django or Boba. It's like along the same lines. Gmail. I ran home, burned through the half of an hour, and then ran here so we can start. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you guys both like it? Yeah. Well, I was surprised because I didn't watch. I don't think I watched any trailer. Or no, I did the one time we like mm-hmm. talked about it, but like I don't remember much. Mm-hmm. But it's just a good show. Like I honestly had yeah. no expectations for this show. I just thought whatever. Like I, I don't mm-hmm. care for Star Wars in general. Like, yeah. I'll we watch literally it. just yeah we were talking about yeah. that too. Like I'll watch it, but like I'm not like a diehard. Like oh, episode nine's coming out. Like. Yeah. Doctor Sleep was the first time I saw that new Star Wars trailer. It actually yeah. looks very good. Yeah. But the show is just it's just enjoyable. Like I talked about in the like messenger group chat how the 30 minutes is like just enough to be good mm-hmm. but also leave you wanting more without being like too yeah. much, which I don't know. Cuz there's times where I'm like I wish it was longer, but also yeah. like you know what? This is good. Keep it like this. I was very shocked at how short the second episode yeah, the second. felt. Either felt. it was or it felt. I don't know. I didn't so look at the like exact 15 time. 15 minutes shorter than the first one. Oh, the first it was, was like 15 45. minutes. 45. This one was 30. Was it actually? The first one was 45? Yeah. Oh. This one okay. was 15 minutes shorter, yeah. hey? Interesting. I didn't even notice. So, well, that's why it felt so quick. It felt um, quick. But, like, it, it had a lot, but it didn't. And that's just how this is going to develop. Like, there's just going to be a lot of the back and forth developing the character. Um, the interesting thing is that you do get that stoic, no talking sense mm-hmm. of him. But then if you, the first episode with, uh, where he met up with that battle droid mm-hmm. played by Taika Watiti. Is that what it was? That's Taika. Oh, yeah. Wow. And, uh, He's kind of bantering back and forth with him, so it's kind of more fun. I not fun per se, but he's like it was. It was an yeah. inside look yeah. on how they kind of operate with each other. Yeah, I there, first thought that it was a like when he said a bounty droid. Yeah, I thought it was a droid that hunts bounty hunters. No, no. Then no. I saw them negotiating. And actually, I was like, yeah. oh, you guys are like in the same kind of yeah. like you get down the same path. But it's kind of funny. There's always an overarching theme with uh with the star wars world like they don't like droids they're like they call it racism towards droids like that's why he didn't take that first cruiser with the droids like no no droids send them away kind of thing mm. and even with this uh this bounty hunter droid he still hates him but there's a code of honor they have amongst each other and they like there's just that deep it's pretty deep i don't with know that. if it's hate i think it's always just they dismiss them for sure, I, yeah. but I think when you say hate, it's yeah. like I don't think they despise them. No, Maybe not as but, much as he despises the Jawas, but everyone should. Those guys are a bunch of fucking. They're basically like sand minions, in oh, my opinion. I hate them. I, exactly. I, I dislike yeah. the Jawas a lot. Man, they stripped the shit out of his ship. Oh also man, for the egg. Yeah, yeah. 
I find it so f- just I found it so funny watching them grab the goo and just goes dark into their mouths and oh, it's like yeah. a void. Yeah, I don't know. That Have we ever seen their faces? No, um, you're not meant to. Well, no, in a New like, Hope when they showed up at uh, the this trade. Luke's or whatever. Yeah, I don't think you saw their faces or just just the eyes. It's always the eyes. They don't ever take yeah. it off. You're thinking of like the actual sand guys, mm. the ones that like they're the um, that looked like a shriveled up ball. No, I can't remember. I can't Other remember ones, that. I don't. I don't know. I'm not too into the lore, but even though I dislike the Jawas, I still thought it was funny that they're just doing their yeah. thing, like they've always done, just going yeah. around picking up scraps and pretty much selling them back at people yeah. at like the most ridiculous prices yeah. or the under the most ridiculous um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, terms. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, uh, Nick Nolte did a good job playing that uh, herder that helped them out. That was Nick Nolte. Yeah, wasn't he also in other Star Wars movies though? The same character. No, uh, you, might be thinking, you might be thinking Alec Guinness. Oh, you mean the actual character himself? Yeah, the I don't character. think so. I have no idea. But that, that's him, and uh, he did very well. Kind of like the way he was yeah. there to help him. And there's again another code of honor between him and that character. It seems like. Well, I, I, I think it was more like he's seen a bunch of these guys come to, to right. find him. Yeah. And he's like, no, I got to help you because it's actually disturbing. Like, yeah. the fact that you guys keep coming is what's disturbing it. Because at the end of or when he said goodbye to him, yeah. he's like, thank you for being bringing peace. Yeah. He just so happened to complete the task in a way mm-hmm. that stopped more people. Bounty hunters from coming in and shooting up the place. Yeah, you know, which I thought and it, got rid of those. What's others. surprising? I didn't know it was Nick Nolte. Every time I've seen Nick Nolte in a movie recently, mm-hmm. you can't hear what he's saying. It yeah. sounds like he's gargling water while he's trying to say his dialogue. Okay, I don't want to sound racist, okay. but was that Lando in the first episode? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, that was Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers. Yeah, he. Okay, I'm sorry. They okay. No, not racism, but they do look alike. I always I do get them confused quite a bit. Billy D and Carl yes. Weathers. Yeah. So okay. Carl Weathers actually plays. Was he's Carl like the Weathers guild leader. The reading Rainbow. Nope. No. You're thinking of somebody else, dude. I'm being really yeah. racist. That's Lamar. Right now. That's Lavar Burton. Yeah. Anyways, they're all he, old. He plays the guild leader for the bounty hunters, and that's why he's uh, he's the one who gives them jobs. Like, what's on the docket? What do we have? Okay, we have this, this, and this. What's the highest paying one? And it, which is where he got. Uh, um, the job for the thing um, from that character. So, so is the job he's on right now just returning the Yoda? So the, yeah, that's his main job is returning is it, is this. Is dead or alive or like alive? Here's the thing. the That one dude on the side, the doctor, I believe, mm-hmm. he wants it back alive. But the the client who's talking with the, with the bounty hunter, he basically said, well, we'll take it dead for a less fee. Mm-hmm. So, like, they're handing him over. They're paying him with credits like normal. But an interesting thing is that little shard of metal. Now, that's, I guess, Baskar metal, which is, like, what the Mandalorians use for their armor. Apparently, mm-hmm. it's, like, one of the toughest and most rare uh, metals in all, like, the galaxy kind of thing. And I guess there was a, a big thing where they lost a lot of this stuff. Like, it was meant to be for that. Like, it probably got stolen off their mm-hmm. off their uh, planet. Um, and so, they're slowly trying to get this stuff back. So... Then we see the armor scene was actually pretty cool. He gets the pauldron, mm-hmm. uh, which is a shoulder pad, and but I guess this armor is meant to be like you can obviously deflect blasters mm-hmm. and lightsabers too. Okay, so it's like it's like an adamantium. So thing almost. will we see a lightsaber? Do you think in the show? No, I don't. think I so. think they're gonna stay away from the whole Jedi thing, as far as they're concerned. Well, here's the thing. The Empire's fallen. The New Republic's being formed. They're in the outer realm, so there's like no reach of government whatsoever, which is why it's so lawless. But uh, I don't think any Jedis will... I, I can't say for sure, but you never know. I don't know. It'll be interesting how it progresses from here. But how many ep- Do we know how many episodes are in season one? Is it like 12? Uh, didn't we say that there was going to be, be about... I think I can't remember if they mentioned it or not already, if they've kind of thrown it out there. I want to say 10. Mm-hmm. would be the nice sweet spot. But if they're doing such short episodes, it'd be nice if they got up to like 14, mm-hmm. something like that. Okay. I don't know. You think they might do like 23, like most half an hour? I don't know. Uh, I think 23. That'd be, that'd be a stretch for such a... I like the fact that it's so short and to the point and it almost feels like, it feels like an anime in a sense yeah. where like anime episodes are like quest based like it's like they're all doing something and then each episode's like them doing something towards their quest mm-hmm. and for the past two episodes so that's what it's felt like mm-hmm. and i feel like just dragging it on will just take away from like how short the episodes are because you have a long season it's like mm-hmm. who cares just do yeah. season two and just get it over with but yeah have they announced season two or was that only for the witcher that i'm confusing it with 
Probably. Um, the Witcher's yeah. been greenlit. Yeah, Mandalorian for right now, I don't think they've greenlit anything further. Um, I wouldn't be It might surprised. be a one-off. Well, here's a thing Do for th- Disney Plus that people said. The only reason Disney Plus is lacking right now, or not mm-hmm. lacking, just like not as appealing, yeah. is that they have a bunch of content that everybody's already seen. Like yeah. I think, I know High School Musical. <laughs> I think yeah. there's like, on, I think there's around five like original shows they have right now, which all yeah. apparently are very good. Mm-hmm. But like, they got to get the ball rolling with like, we can't be canceling. Like Obi-Wan? Okay, I understand that. Like it's a short yeah. time frame, yeah. timeline, time. time frame. That's the word. But for Mandalorian, I don't know. I just feel like it could be a good show. Like I'm actually, I want more, which is weird because yeah. I just dislike comic like Watchmen. Yeah, I hear it's really shit. That's really, like. everybody's you, like from whom? Like a lot, like a comment section of anything Watchmen. They say the comic books are good. The movie was arguably good, and the show is just like apparently like really, really political. And just they don't like it. Right. Okay. Wait, hold on. They don't like it because they feel it's political or they don't like it because it it's, it's not good. Well, it's like it strays from the con. It's just like it's not a Watchmen show, they say. It's just like a show that uses them, but also doesn't like. Mm-hmm. I haven't read the comic book, so I don't know. This is just like me reading what people are saying. But they say it's really mm-hmm. political. It's just pushing the same agenda that everybody pushes. And it's just like not accurate. Hmm. Well, have you seen it? Are you caught up? No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. You've I can only speak to the fact that the Watchmen in general, it has, I wouldn't say it's political. I think it's more topical. And I think right now, majority of the people are just branding everything as political. I know with a lot of things I do, and then I have to check myself later. It might be topical as opposed to actually being political. Uh, you know, uh, but again, I haven't seen it. Well, I'm only know. from the first episode. Like, I didn't see, like, I could, like, I could, like obviously sense the just kind of, like, basic tones of, like, white people are bad and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it also makes sense because they have the Rosarch group, was just, which is just a bunch of, like, Ro- Roshark. Roshark group. Mm-hmm. That's just, like, a bunch of white guys, like, white rednecks. It's kind of like, it's like the KKK. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, maybe. But it's also, like, don't take everything so personally. Like, it's not a direct attack on all white people. Like, you don't have to be like, ooh. These people have a white villain. That means they're attacking me. That's, yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, that's I might why check I, out a couple more episodes just to see, but... It's, the original but, was a white guy. Like, he was... Ozymandias was a white guy. But I don't know if it's the same, guy. like... Because now, like, in today's, like, so, like, society, it's more like... Yeah, but that's part of the content, though. That means nothing. There has been more bad white guys, like, white on white crime, we'll put it that way, in film, than, uh, like... I, I think maybe not, but there's there's a lot. I don't want to go out on a limb and just say, oh, there's been more than this, because I really don't know. But there's a lot of bad guys that are. Mm-hmm. Like, your typical, if you're just a picture a shitty businessman who's hell-bent on taking over the world, you're probably picturing a white dude right now in a suit, in a big office, overlooking a city that he's going to take over. I mean, yeah. Um, Robert... Uh, one of the guys listened to the show. He was on our deep dive, Life in Hip Hop. If you want to go back and listen to that, he says, "I honestly, I honestly thought it was bad because he asked if we had talked about it." So I started looking at reviews, all the bad audience reviews. I actually disagreed with, yeah, oh. entirely, and it made me want to like it more hmm. because the bad audience reviews he disagreed with. It could also just be DC fans being DC fans and complaining about things. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm but not it's, bashing it's the different. show. This is what I. The first episode just didn't really like draw my attention but it's also like the pilot so maybe i just need to watch a bit more but i don't know that's just my thought i read some comments because i didn't really care about getting spoiled accidentally but mm-hmm. yeah it's just all it was just all like literally all negative like i didn't read a single like one that said like said it was a good show really yeah i don't know i don't think i've read anything either but those are also reviews so if you haven't seen Watchmen, just go check it out for yourself mm-hmm. you know but that's it. anyways no the mandalorian <laughs> looks like it's really good um yeah and so far first two episodes Super into it. I like how quiet it is. Mm-hmm. I like how paced it is. I like that they have Pedro Pascal as the man, like the guy. Yeah. Um, I think his voice is awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not your traditional badass bounty hunter, growly, whatever. Mm-hmm. He just sounds like, it's just so yeah. unique. Pedro Pascal has such a unique voice, mm-hmm. and I think it's just perfect. And what's really cool is... Uh, I really like movies and shows that are able to take somebody under a mask Mm -hmm. and understand what emotion they're pulling through. One of my favorite movies is uh, is Frank, starring Michael Fassbender. Uh, It's an indie movie, and it's about Mm -hmm. like a a a new wave. 
band that's like touring around and Frank is the is Michael Fassbender's character and he plays like the kind of the the leader of of the mu- musical group or whatever and he wears a a giant head like it's massive the whole movie except for like some certain parts here and there that like you can't really see head? kind of but maybe even bigger and it's round mm-hmm. and it's like uh, I guess this is like a character from something else too but anyways you feel emo- like you you sense emotion coming out of this mask that has the same face just based on how mm-hmm. Fassbender's doing it and I'm noticing the same thing with Pascal here it's like yeah. you just you get what's going on yep. and for how little he talks or yeah. whatever well, that's what I said like before we recorded but I want to say it on recording cuz it's a good point on the record on the record it's like I think for over half the episode like nobody spoke or at least you didn't have subtitles to hear what they were saying mm-hmm. and it didn't feel like boring like i didn't feel you're just sitting there like okay like what the fuck's going on like even though the main character doesn't speak or yeah. rarely speaks it's still engaging and it's just right. like still entertaining to watch which is weird because mm-hmm. i don't think there's another show that has done that yeah i think it's important that it leads to something mm-hmm. uh, and i think because everything see is deliberate and it leads to something mm-hmm. uh, same with like the joker you know mm-hmm. fuck i can talk about that movie all the time right that has deliberate long stretches of of focus and but it leads to something it means something it ends up taking us somewhere if it was just there for the sake of being there Mm -hmm. i don't think you would have the same effect so i'm thinking the mandalorian is like john favreau is is he the main guy behind it or is he i think he's directing it and writing for the mandalorian yeah yeah he's i think he's one of the like the whole thing it's not uh or is he just kind of show running and then maybe a couple of I've seen the credits directors. twice, and I can't remember for the life of me. But he's yeah. one of the first people that pops up, so he's definitely directing I think it's most a of the episodes for the second one. I don't okay. know for yeah. the first one; I can't remember. But. Yeah, but he might be a writer too. He's yeah. well versed. Also, liked how the credits have like the concept art. I believe it's the oh, concept yeah. art. I don't yeah. know if it is, but like yeah. it looks. But yeah, it's just nice to see because it's like mm-hmm. I don't know, just cool. I love seeing like the behind the scenes shit. Yeah. yeah, it looks good though. Like even just like the cinematography of it is is sharp. Yeah, it's clean. It's it's like just... that one thing we went in the cave. Oh yeah, the today's episode and it was just yeah, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, oh, that yeah. rhino thing. Clearly, it has something strong because it destroyed his armor mm-hmm. on his chest. I'm surprised how easy it was yeah, to was take it say, out that with that one, one knife. Like, well, I think it's one of those things where this like this specific animal has like mm-hmm. a weak point. They, no, what clearly, because it? it died like, <laughs> yeah. right after that it was happened. Like, it was but, just, I don't know, it was yeah. like strong. Like, even I realized, like, I thought, like, okay, like, he probably knew, like, where to kill it before. So it's not like yeah. just an ass pull, but it's also yeah. like, I think it was beating the fuck out of it. And that, oh, like, yeah. gun was whatever, but just stabbing him with a small ass. It was a small knife. It wasn't a big one. Yeah. yeah. That was my only thing. I was like, uh. I do also like how he's not this unbeatable mm-hmm. badass. Mm-hmm. Like, he screws up, he makes mistakes, he just yeah. gets up, keeps going, keeps, like, he just. Yeah. Even I, when he was know, fighting on the side of the Jawas machi- like mm, machine, now, yeah. like he took some punches, but he kept coming. It was like whatever. And what was really funny is that, like when they threw him off, when they broke that thing that he was hanging from, yeah. like it looked like he was done, for, like he had fallen off. But yeah. somehow he got back, and he ended up on the top part. Yeah. But then, uh, like right away, they didn't even stop. They shot him with those things, and yeah. then he fell down. I was like, that was cool. Yeah. That was really cool. The force thing that was interesting. Oh, that's oh sucks. man! I was expecting it because he obviously he did it before, it never worked. But yeah. this time he's like he clearly has affection for this guy because like he's helping Sorry, him out. He did it before. Well, the kid tried. He reached out like the child. When was that on when the he first was episode? Armor, or I think something was going on before earlier in the episode. He went to go. I think he went to, think to touch his arm. Help. Yeah, like to, like he touch said, it or something. I thought he was going to try to use the force to help heal him. That's what I Maybe. figured he was going to do. I thought, thought he was going to try to heal him. Exactly. But, but he was force. right next to him at that point. For but sure. At yeah. this point, like th- that looked like he was like, I don't know, 10 feet away, 15 feet away or something. Yeah. And that was cool. Yeah. That was very I got to cool. wonder how they're going to approach that because what I was reading, I guess the the Mandalorians and bounty hunters in general were always against the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Like their point mm-hmm. was to destroy the Jedi. So this kid clearly he is... They or worked for it? the order, didn't they? But the, em- well, the empire, the empire had fallen. Yeah, because the return of the Jedi. Or whatever. They're basically for hire by anyone. Really, yeah. it doesn't matter. They haven't really no allegiances other than their contract. So that's kind of the big thing behind it. But obviously, naturally, the empire was their main goal. And the empire would hire them, whereas Jedi's wouldn't hire anybody. Exactly. They just take care. So, of so by sheer virtue of how they operate, yeah. it's just automatic. Like, well, they're never going to hire us, so we're going to be. Mm-hmm. If anything, someone's going to pay us to take them down. Yeah, yeah. 
So one thing I want to say before. So Mandalorian is only eight episodes. Okay. Which okay. sucks because I don't know. That's a short. But it's also whatever. First that's, yeah. that's a great way to get, a, mm-hmm. get you ready for the next season. But yeah. my prediction for the end of season this season mm-hmm. is this what I, I hope he doesn't save the kid or like take him with him for his mm-hmm. travels. Because I just feel like not true to a bounty hunter. But I also like I, the way I think it'll end is that he'll like like the kid, but mm-hmm. also realize that like giving him alive to the empire or whatever is like a bad thing, and like mm-hmm. he'll just be bad overall. So I think he's gonna kill yeah. the kid. It could be you because think he's gonna kill him. Well, why would they mention like if you kill him, it's less money? Yeah, right. like I just feel like it's an important thing to mention in a short episode mm-hmm. and it's something they want you to like pay attention to. Yeah, it'll take so, that realization because mm-hmm. his initial thing was to kill that droid assassin mm-hmm. say well you're not going to kill him because that's what he wanted to do right yeah. away mm-hmm. it's like nope and they were going to split it too. yeah that's so. what I'm thinking because I just or, hope I feel like a take away from him like mm-hmm. just won't make him I don't he doesn't have to be bad he's going to be a good person but also like yeah. it's your job to do this like this one kid is the one exception you've made yeah. in all years of bounty hunting he's, he's in the he's in the gray area mm-hmm. and and maybe that's the thing like he's just He's in that early phase, so he's the young gun that's going out. That's why he's still making mistakes that maybe mm-hmm. an older bounty hunter wouldn't make. Yeah, I don't think this story is going to be about the Mandalorian and this young fifty-year-old Yoda mm-hmm. who's a baby. Um, I think he's gonna like the baby thing is gonna be gone. And oh, you think that's not how it ends? Yeah, oh, okay. I, I think it's gonna. Be, I think there's a there's a different story going on. This is just going to be a nice little thing that mm-hmm. happens along his path however he is meeting him in the first episode the second episode is called the child so maybe it, it is going to be very important but there's only four episodes left uh, there's or only no, six yeah and there's only so much like surprise forcing that little baby yoda can yeah. do before we're just like oh i wonder when that's gonna happen mm-hmm. like you know what a Plus, it'll probably design. kill itself. Like great design for Baby Yoda. Like it just looks oh, yeah. nice. It's it's, it's nice because it's adorable. not as it's not as CGI as the prequels, and it's not quite the puppet that yeah. the the original. It just kind of looks was. like it could you could throw him beside Sonic and Pikachu, and he'd fit him nicely. Like they mm-hmm. would look same universe. Yeah, speaking of Sonic, we could talk about the Sonic and Scooby trailer. Yeah, or break down some other trailers. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Sonic trailer. Yeah. Sonic was amazing. You yeah. liked it. They, they did, did it. They did an amazing did job. <laughs> Huge difference. But. And people, this is what people are saying online. Whoever bitched about his design yeah. better be going to see that movie in theaters. Oh, yeah. Because that was a painstaking job. Everybody has to imagine to do mm-hmm. that. And they killed it. Like, oh, yeah. Looks really good. Mm-hmm. The, the trailer itself it looks looks fun. fun. Like, yeah. It just, yeah. doesn't look as cringy or forced. It now, looks like a fun movie. Was it the movie. exact same trailer that got released the first time around with no. him? Or is it complete, completely Way redid more it? Things. Yeah, Somebody yeah. says that uh, whoever like releases it, mm-hmm. they should release two versions for DVD. One with the regular, because we have to assume they're almost done with the regular look anyways. Yeah. yeah. And the other one was the revamped. Like, just yeah. the, like you might as well release the release the original cuts. Yeah, right. but yeah, it no, looks it's... nice and it... it looks funny and it just looks like so- it looks like Sonic. Like, that's yeah. a good job. Like, personality yeah. wise, mm-hmm. it looks really good. Uh, and then we got the Scoob trailer. Yeah, and that looks good too. That looks fun. Great animation. Yeah, I think it would be very I, good. I really like that animation. Well, there's yeah. a SpongeBob trailer too. I saw it today with Keanu Reeves in it. I saw yeah, screenshots, <laughs> but I didn't actually see the thing. And the animation for SpongeBob looks good too. It's like I'd say it's similar to the Scooby Doo one, but yeah. like, yeah. yeah, I'm just I'm very impressed. That's it. The animated impressed route is huge. Yeah, they're doing it good. Yeah. I think they're just able to find that, like, the Scoob trailer, like we talked about last week. Did we talk about it last yes, week? Yeah, a little bit, or at least the screenshots. The screen, yeah. It looks like an enhanced version of the original. Yeah, so it still has the design of the original cartoon. Mm-hmm. But just the enhanced version of that, which yeah. is really cool, and yeah, I think with the, uh, I think with that, I think with movies like Into the Spider Verse, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking with just like the, it just animation is evolving to that next level, and they're able mm-hmm. to just do a really good job and, yeah. and bridge those gaps, so it's not so jarring. I'm really mm-hmm. excited for Mario though. Like, I really hope they don't fuck up his look in animation. No, I don't think you can. It's despicable yeah. me though. And they have pretty clean animation. Like I won't lie. Like I don't love their movies, but like their style looks nice. And I'm mm-hmm. sure, I'm sure they're not going to go out of their way. Cause Nintendo is going to be heavily policing this movie because yeah. they did not want to do it at all. Really? No. Nintendo is very like, wait, stupid. Nintendo didn't well, probably because they hate. The well, fact they, that the first I was one the happened. first one. Yeah. That's like, that's their whole thing. And then after Pokemon, Go happen. They allowed the Detective Pikachu live action to happen, mm-hmm. and that did really well. So now they're more lenient. Like okay, like they'll slowly yeah. release it out. I still want. And I lay. hope that leads to the Smash Bros. universe. <laughs> Not even a joke. 
I want this to happen. Yeah. I want the Smash Bros. universe. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I want a it's Zelda good. live action. That's probably the next one. That, if Mario to me, does good, it would be amazing. If they do it right, mm-hmm. you don't fuck it up. Do it. What does that mean? Just do it I right. It's so would. generic. Yeah. Just do it right. Like, what, what, what does that mean? Just do it right. Honestly, uh, Jim, can I get that rundown? Uh, do you have an example of what uh, that rundown is? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just hope for the, like, I just really hope Nintendo has success in this. Because honestly, yeah. Nintendo could be making bank. You don't they, think Nintendo's making bank? Yeah, they are. But okay. they're so like strict with like what they allow to happen. Yeah. That's probably the reason why they make bank. Well, it's yeah. that's a fair point, but also for like movies and TV, like they could mm-hmm. make so many good like even anime. If they want to do anime. But I think they're the th- Japan, they're Japanese. Like they can do this. Mm-hmm. I think the issue with that though is that you're now taking these characters that exist in a forum that you are experiencing for a long period of time and condensing that experience into a short period of time and consolations have to be made because it has to be out to a world like to a wider audience Mm -hmm. because it's the movies right that's why video games don't tend to work and that's why they make those trailers so pretty much they give away everything for a lot of them because people don't know what the fuck these movies are Mm -hmm. or what these product these ips are unless you actually grew up and played them right and I mean, fifty percent of the population, or a good chunk of the population, probably mm-hmm. definitely has no idea what the yeah. fuck these are, right? So, I don't know. I, I I think it's there is a thing of like sticking to your lane and doing what you do best, and that'll always maximize, almost always maximize your profits. I don't know if movies and TV are the way that Nintendo should go. I'm gonna say Legend of Zelda would probably be the worst one to do because that'd be so hard to do. I'll tell you what. I had a what if scenario here. You have the Zelda. Specifically, Ocarina of Time, that's my all-time favorite. I never really played the other ones, actually. But if you do it in the style of The Witcher, like kind of horror fantasy. Well, that's what I mean. We've been talking about this for a while. Like a yeah. Legend of Zelda show, and it's always been like a more like realistic gritty, version. Gritty, but Nintendo. Yeah. But then do you take not they wouldn't. Do it. I doubt it either. Then if you go and do it that route, then do yeah. you take away from what Legend of Zelda or, or Ocarina, let's say, for instance, is? No, I doubt it. Well, I think Ocarina, I think like so. those ones are more dark. Well, what is it that would you think they'd take away from? It's it's not a it's not The Witcher, for instance. Okay. Um, there's no reason to go hyper realistic with it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they're starting to with the new games, making it more realistic, more it, open world, and more like open world is different than realistic. But they're still like in comparison to their older style, like the top still, down. Still, it's still no, I know, but that's that's overall game design. I'm talking about. Like that's the way that they 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 just make the game, whether it's a first person, top down, whether it's an RPG or whatever. There's a aesthetic to it that makes it feel like it's supposed to, I think, and that's where again with these games it's really hard to do because mm-hmm. if you don't nail the aesthetic, then it feels like something else, especially when there's so much out there. So. Pokemon Shield, Sword and Shield or whatever is coming out. Mm-hmm. And that looks like a Pokemon game, like mm-hmm. every other Pokemon game. There's an aesthetic there that makes it work, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't seen Detective Pikachu yet. Yet. Pikachu yet. So mm-hmm. I don't know. But the Pokemon in the trailers look exactly like they do in the original version, right? Yeah. And I think with something like Zelda, y- you still have to... It's almost like the Scooby-Doo thing. Mm-hmm. It's take what the original was and just enhance it slightly. Mm-hmm. You know? So you'd want and, animated? And I would way more enjoy an animated. Yeah. I think there's I think there's more room for you to play around with. I think there's... Um, you can... I don't know. With animated, you can just do so much more. Right? Like, you can... You, can, you don't have to make consolations because... You don't, yeah. You just don't have to make the constellations that you that you would in a live action. I just think Zelda is like the one Nintendo property that would just be best, like live action, like Mario animated, just because we already got the live action. Yeah, we already Mario. got it; didn't work. Like Sonic, <laughs> we had the live, like the realistic version, and now we yeah. have to like. Yeah, I love how he looks like the classic, like but old s- Sonic. But like, Sonic, oh, no. Sonic is in with. Like real humans, yeah, I know. Yeah, like it's a detective. So they kind of, they kind of got a. Um, it's one aspect of Sonic that they had to nail, and that was Sonic yeah. himself, right? Yeah. Well, but, I just hope Nintendo is more out to out to. They're more willing to play ball with their franchises yeah. in the future. Like they're starting to be more lenient. They have the mobile games that are actually like doing surprisingly well. Mm-hmm. They have the partnership with Microsoft, which nobody saw coming, and they like yeah. have. Well, Microsoft sharing its exclusives. Nintendo saying thank you, but no, we're not sharing <laughs> back. 
Well, I'm just, but you said fuck, it's a good time to be a Nintendo fanboy. DC, not so much. Nintendo is doing good, and that's what I like to see. <laughs> I would argue that it's better to be a DC fanboy now because now they can not just yet. Start almost, rolling you're right almost low. there. You're right DC's low. almost there. They're on the peak. Joker yeah. is a really good start. Aquaman, Shazam, we're good. Yeah, but, but Joker's on its own thing. Wonder Woman two. That will be. The definitive time to say, oh, fuck, Birds of Prey comes before Wonder Woman. That movie's oh, going to be... That we're gonna falling be down a bit, boys. Fire. What's coming out? Birds of Prey. Uh, That'll be whatever. good, no? I don't know. I, I hope they prove me wrong. I hope they do. I'm just I, not looking I forward to it. I think it'll be whatever it'll be, and it won't affect I think it'll over... be like Shazam, honestly. It's going to be like an enjoyable movie, yeah, but it's not going to be just, like... just fine. Yeah. Shazam is still very enjoyable. It doesn't have to be that grittiness that you want, but... Yeah. Uh, Patrick Wilson is coming back for Aquaman 2 now that you mentioned that. Yeah. So the bad guy from there. Mm-hmm. Who's Patrick Wilson, Black Manta? Nope. Oh, he nope. was the other guy. Uh, his brother. His brother. King yeah. Orb. Or half brother or whatever. Oh, yes. King Orb, yeah. Um, oh, uh, the other trailer was the... BBC version of A Christmas Carol. And yeah, I thought he did die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But of Why course he he's going to come back. Because they imprisoned him. Wait. Oh, yeah. they didn't. He didn't die. They did imprison they him. That's him, yeah. what it was. Right. Um, yeah. The BBC Christmas Carol trailer came out. It's uh, Guy Pierce. It's Scrooge. Andy Circus. Made it's by Tom the Peaky Binders crew, which I haven't Made, seen yeah. by one. My dad actually, I think, finished it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks interesting. Yeah. We've it's, had it's tons good. of like renditions of this, but I'm actually very excited about this. Yeah, this one will be good. Well, this I one think it'll it. be dark. I just liked how it was like more gritty and like, okay, I assume yeah. it's going to be like a series, like just a one season deal. Like, yeah. that's it, because I don't know if you can really well, Sorry, is it meant to be a movie or a series? I think it's a show. I thought it was a movie. I thought I it was a show, because wow, BBC way off. is like... No, they do movies. They do one. Yeah. Just well, like they do whatever they want. Number one, because like all the Sherlock episodes that's are I full line like, movies. Because isn't Peaky Binders also on BBC? Like it yes, seems it is. That's a British yeah. show, so I just assume so. Yeah, BBC A Christmas Carol. But it just looks because obviously everybody knows the story. Who's like, Tom Hardy playing? I'm sorry. Tom Hardy's in it too. Fuck. They have. To, who he is could, he playing? He actually he'd be good as a ghost. I think. Maybe he's um, Ebenezer. No, Ebenezer is Guy Pearce. Yeah. Who the fuck would Tom Hardy be? I don't even know. Um, Did you look in the MDB page? I'm looking right now. Yeah. It might be undisclosed. It's though. due to air. It has to be sometimes. Mini series. Never mind. Yeah, it is a mini series. Oh, interesting. So I'll check it out. I think, honestly, it looks interesting what? enough. Maybe they'll have like a development of how Scrooge is. Like, he'll, like, one of the few, first few episodes will be you see who. I don't know if it'll be. Is it narrated at all? Or is it just meant to be like watched know. and that's it? It'd be interesting if they did a narration of some sort. But. Um, I kind of envision the first episode being like you see him in his day to day life That's and how right, he treats yeah. people, and then eventually it'll lead to the Christmas side of stuff. So like, you'll catch up with him in fall, and then oh, it'll okay. skip a little bit further down the road and say, uh, "I think like, it's going to exist only yeah. as in uh, Christmas, as a Christmas." And I think so. It's a mini series, meaning yeah. But I, 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 I think what they'll do is they'll actually add. I think they'll double down on the past present and future aspects of it oh for sure 100 but yeah. what i mean is i think that might actually be the focus as well as the present so instead of just being at flashes mm-hmm. it'll actually be full you know like episode ep- are, you, are you talking when the ghost or... visit him yeah yeah, yeah. I, I could see him devoting an episode per yeah. event but now that he mentions that like i agree like that's how i imagine it too like your way but also like it make. I don't think they devote like the entire like half an episode, or maybe like the first bit, just showing how to much him. of a dick he is to yeah. people like regularly. Maybe mm-hmm. who knows? I don't know because I'm excited because it's just a basic story, but also like it looks like a fresh take. Who was his uh, the guy that worked for him that he screwed over with his son that was sick? Oh, I can't. What's his name? Tiny Tim is no, the kid, isn't it? The kid. Mm-hmm. Tall Tiny, Tim. I'm gonna go Tiny Tim's dad. Tiny Tim's dad. I'm pretty sure they did a Batman version of this story, and I read it. Bob Cratchit. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Cratchit. So that's his uh, sidekick. Maybe Tom Hardy's oh, playing. We got the Bob animated Cratchit. one way back with Jim Carrey. Maybe oh, really? Tom Hardy's playing uh, Tiny Tim. Yeah, I don't think that would work. <laughs> also, Tom Hardy, uh, they're filming Venom 2 today. They started. And he released a photo a couple weeks ago with uh, Venom. Like it was it was a cartoon image of, Ven- of Venom and Carnage. Carnage. Yeah. yeah, he keeps deleting these posts. He deleted that one. He deleted the one that they started filming today. Like I don't think it was a like secret or anything, but um, this one's weird. I guess we talked about we talked about Disney Plus. Uh, Deadpool and other R-rated movies are not going to be on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. They're going to be on Hulu. And what else? Is there another one? Nothing. Just Hulu. Just, just Hulu, Hulu. Yeah. Well, Disney owns Hulu. So it's not <laughs> yeah. Weird. yeah. But it's just weird in the sense like. Yo. You own Fox. Why aren't you like putting their movies? And on they here? say for an extra, extra twelve or thirteen dollars a month, it's it could be American. That's where you get Hulu, 
ESPN and yeah. something it's a else. bundle. But Hulu isn't ad free with yes. that bundle. That's the one right. thing. It's like, come on, so you guys. Dumb. Um, I want to. Uh, I'm going to be watching more Amazon Prime because my brother in law has hooked me up. Have with you his. seen the boys yet? No, but That's I have. First, I, I've been watching Jack Ryan. Good. Jack it Ryan good. is outstanding. Oh. Is it? How long wow. are the seasons? You totally undersold it. Is it? <laughs> it was so. It's so How good. How long are seasons? Because I've been interested. Uh, in Jack. They're an hour episode. They're, they're, yeah, they're an hour an episode, uh, and there's eight episodes is it eight? per season. And is it on its third or second? Second. Okay. And each season Dude. is its own story line kind is of that thing. Like the 24 style. I don't know. Like I haven't seen it, but like just no. I would say it's more. It's exactly like what homeland is about in the sense that like you're doing with terrorism and other in other aspects of that but yeah i will say this they do a really good job only five episodes in by the way Mm -hmm. um they're doing a really good job with like really rounding out every single person Mm -hmm. like it's it's exceptional jimmy halpert went from you (laughs) know he left pam and decided to go chase chase like terrorism and stuff um but i mean it's it's good yeah. It's really good, and it makes sense. I was so Suits had extra episodes on Netflix, like they released the new episodes. I honestly, I'm way behind on that anyway. But I don't know. It's it's still just not good anymore. Like it stopped yeah. being good after season three. Oh, it's the Walking Dead vibes. Yeah, yeah man, <laughs> and it's like the same thing over and over. I think again. I want to watch one guy, it. The one guy ended up like they had a storyline with mm-hmm. the uh, with the character with Robert Zane. Um, oh yeah, yeah, and how he's like not going to be in it or much or anything anymore. Anyway, something happened with Jack him. Ryan. But then I, and so I saw oh, Jack okay. Ryan after and I was oh, like, okay. oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I see what you're saying. Before we move on, I also uh, want to mention this for Disney Plus that I heard about. So I don't know if you have a chance to check out The Simpsons yet. Oh, like, widescreen. Yeah. yeah, it's all widescreen and apparently like it just screws up the entire like first because you miss a bunch of like gigs and stuff and it like, just stretches things out. Oh, really? To the point where you don't see stuff? Like, they didn't one, keep it with the regular aspect ratio, which there was is dumb. Duff yeah. light and Duff regular. There's that one bit and it showed like how it all comes from the same tube. Yeah. And the wide. And the, you like, can see four the tubes. By, yeah. And you can see it when they like stretched it out. Oh, or okay. like there was a one where like somebody had tweeted two photos. And I mean, I get people are upset about it mm-hmm. and I, I, they probably just didn't think that it would be an issue. But no. at the same time, why is X-Men the 90s x-men in the proper aspect ratio you know what i mean like it's it's in uh not four three I've, anyways it, it looks enough. good i yeah. put it on yesterday just so i can hear the theme song it is so it's still so good <laughs> that never... that theme song is yeah. one of the best ever one of the lad bible like pages posted a photo of like the spider-man ps like original game saying they might be getting a like remaster the ps2 and they played the fucking x-men theme song over it <laughs> and i was listening to it like I'm like, oh, it's this song. I'm like, this isn't this, this isn't Spider Man. And all the comments are like, how the fuck do you fuck this up? I'm like, yeah, yeah lad, yeah. Bible. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, for Prime, you're on the right track. Jack Ryan for sure. The boys. The boys. I really. I enjoyed Carnival Row as well. I think Carnival Row. Yeah. Okay. Somebody Somebody Bloom, what Delvin. is Carnival? I saw the ad and it was just weird. It's a Victorian era kind of fantasy world, mm-hmm. and it's like it's it's political in nature. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it's very well done, in my opinion. Um, there's a bit of like a history and lore to it, but yeah, I did give it a little bit of a review way back when. But I I burnt right through it again. Eight episodes. Uh, season two just started going again, like filming and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited for it. Prime TV is actually like slept it's, on i've heard like oh it's good i know tino w- just watched the boys recently and he was like oh my god like everybody i remember i got panel to watch it too yeah. everybody loves it like it's just the boys. it would be right up tino's and alley season too. two is just wrapped yeah i know filming so Fuck. that'll be out probably next hopefully year. next year yeah. early mm, we'll see I anyways so. uh brooklyn 99 renewed for season eight yes. was it and before seven is, season seven has February. filmed or come out it's, it's coming out february yeah it it's coming out in february out. Like, i burnt through six yeah i haven't got watched released. six I've just been rewatching it randomly. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. And then HBO Max, a friend's reunion is happening or they're saying it's happening or yeah. it's like 80% confirmed it's or whatever. It's so funny because this has been talked about for ever. So what's a How much Your Mother reunion? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that, it ended like five years ago. Yeah. yeah. I, honestly, the friends one is kind of more open-ended than I think How I Met Your Mother in a way. Like their lives kind of just really changed. Mm-hmm. It's like it's kind of... It's done. But whereas Friends, it was like you were left in the loop. Like, what's going on? I still haven't seen Friends. And people have been on their cases. Anytime anyone has ever been on, like, like whether Lisa Kudrow or any of them have been well, on Jennifer stuff. Jennifer Aniston, like, teases it, yeah. like, all the time. Well, ever cheese. since she started going on, on social media, like, she started her Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Ever since then, that's where the real push has happened. Uh, and, I mean, they're all game, I guess. So, there you go. It's well, happening. Do anything else. Whether it's, like... Actually, a lot of them are very successful, though, aren't they? Like, for the most part. Do, you know what? They're living off the Friends stuff, well, yeah. even if they don't 
have if they, they don't do anything else, they're doing just fine. Jennifer Aniston is probably the m- most successful out of all of them. She's been the most in stuff, mm-hmm. and I think the rest of them have done just small pieces. Like Matthew Perry, obviously hasn't done much in a while. He's been like I think in and out of rehab. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think he's also helping people in rehab too. Like, for sure, yeah. He's like a, like he's transitioned out from what he's yes, done, and yeah. now he's actually turning around and helping other yeah. people, which is really and that was cool. quite a while ago. I should say so, but he's I just has, talking he, about it on the show. He just stayed out of the ago. limelight for almost a long mm-hmm. time until recently they all kind of got back into it but yeah um do you guys think it's weird that paul walker is going to be coming back for fast nine not at all so i haven't seen fast you and furious so? no. but from like an outsider's perspective yeah. like the way they handled his death in the seventh one yeah and like how it affected everybody like emotionally even like my, yeah. even myself watching the scene with like yeah. zero care because i didn't like yeah. didn't care for paul walker didn't see any of the movies like, it was an emotional thing watching it mm-hmm. and if he if he's going to be brought back for a quick like cameo or something it's like yeah. oh, okay you know that's cool like whatever but if he's gonna be back like full For character full it's like that's kind of taking away from like okay. all the emotional thing you did i follow a few pages that i just keep hearing and keeps getting thrown in no matter what like that fact there's actually like unofficial fast and furious pages that i, I follow on facebook and stuff like that and all the time they throw it like okay like forever they say justin bieber is going to take over the brian o'connor kind of no. person it's it's all garbage anyway. Okay. But the one thing that actually comes of true is basically his brother, Cody, who looks the most like him. Mm-hmm. And all they, they and they'll do the same thing they did for the seventh mm-hmm. install, installment that they'll kind of CGI a little bit over just to change his bone structure slightly, uh, his height. And in the car, it wasn't him. It was his brother in the car scene. Well, because yeah. he still had a few scenes, yeah. few scenes that he actually shot himself. So they they chose to like reshoot certain things with him farther away. Um, no, but they like, needed when, to when, do. when Vin Diesel turns around and looks at Paul Walker, and yeah. Paul Walker turns and look, and then he they ride off into the sunset yeah. or whatever at the end of Seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Paul Walker's face. Yeah, yeah. I know or sorry, that. that's on his brother's body. Yeah, yeah I know that. Yeah. Which they did the entire movie for any close ups. Yeah, and they're gonna continue to do that for the nine. Now nine, I understand, is meant to be like kind of the end of this trilogy that they wanted to end. Like seven, eight, nine was kind of it until because uh, they did eleven because they did four. Four was kind of a reboot. Think about it that way. Four was the reboot to create this storyline that they've created. Um, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then mo- let's and say Hobbs and Shaw. Let's too. say done. Yeah, no, please no. Why did you, was it not good? Did no. you see it? Hobbs and Shaw was terrible. You, wait a minute. I went and saw it, and wait, I didn't no, pay no, for no, it. No, thankfully, you're you're saying that it's terrible. I didn't like it at all. It was so over the top. My Untouched. man, transitioning over. Did well, listen, it? there's a <laughs> lot of things it? again. I haven't seen it. I don't oh. give a fuck to watch it. It's like so Fast dumb. And no. Oh. Not recently. They've all been just whatever. Listen, I like the original. One dude. and two are classics for quotes. Classics. For quotes. And could, even three you could throw in a few. So, so, yeah. Some of Bow Wow stuff or whatever yeah. for sure. But yeah, no. The, the Hobbs and Shaw, different. I hated from the beginning again because it was Dwayne The Rock Johnson's F you to the rest of the cast. It got made, whatever. It did somewhat okay, but as a movie, it was beyond terrible. He was trying so hard to prove a point, and it made it Dwayne The Rock Johnson-esque, and I was just like, you ruined it, man. I feel feel you could have pulled off something pretty good, but I really didn't like it. And I was I already went in with a a bias already okay. that I didn't like it because I I'm on the team Vin side regardless of how he operates I just didn't like how that whole thing went down anyways and whatever now as a point of to kind of end that thing mm-hmm. apparently they've squashed their beef Vin and him at least Tyrese is on his own game whatever overall Hobbs and Shaw was bad I think they should come back to the fold of the Fast and Furious if they're going to continue this whole thing mm-hmm. and keep going crazy. That's fine. I'll keep watching those. But Hobbs and Shaw, it was just too much of an fu, and he was trying way too hard. That's my opinion to that. That's wow. We never mm-hmm. talked about this. I thought I did. I, I just well, here's I, the I, thing. I Actually, it's... we talked about if I'm going to watch it, and I said no, I'm not going to go. Is that what happened? And then I ended up going because like with the regular group of guys, I goes like, oh, let's go see this because it was like nothing else. And the other guy said they like, covered it with his scene points. I'm like, okay, I didn't pay for it. It's fine. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, um, I I don't know. I think the the bringing back Paul Walker thing is I think it's just dumb. I don't think, like, and I, I think it's just you already had it. Like you already had your finish. Yeah. What, a, what are you gonna do another finish? And then we're supposed to feel emotional about it. It's like we know that the entire movie wasn't him. Mm-hmm. At least we knew that he filmed a bunch of stuff in number in seven mm-hmm. that yeah. it would actually make it a thing. Mm-hmm. Was it seven? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah seven. seven. But I don't know. I think it's 
I think it's just silly. Yeah. Um, this kind of talk, like what we talked about last week about James Dean, how the, but that's mm. a full CGI or mocap yeah. job or whatever. Like he's a video game character. Yeah. Uh, Netflix uh, bought the rights for Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy's coming back. Black Adam is officially finally getting a release date of December 22nd, Yeah, 20, that's 21. been on a back burner and for Boss forever. And Boss Logic teamed up with Jim Lee, I think. Is that his name? Oh, Who's really? That? To like create, it's like somebody, like a DC artist, oh. to do the like art, art. for The Rock. Yeah. Which Get is it. cool, because like, Boss him. Logic has been like, since Entertain Facts was yeah. a thing, I always knew of him. Yeah. And like, he was always like big when I like knew of his account, but like, mm-hmm. he's just grown like so much. And now like, The Rock is following him and he's talking. Yeah. This is cool. Like, good for him. Yeah. He's a grinder. The Rock's playing Black Adam is interesting because I read up, he's supposed to be a super villain. Yes, he is. So that'll be interesting with the whole contract the, the, thing of the, who's going to win and stuff. Why? Well, I, I don't know if he does. Well, in Shazam, they teased him because they said, like, oh, there's like seven chairs, but only six of us. Oh, and so he's, he's seven. Yeah. So there's always like one bad apple mm-hmm. kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. And so obviously, Black Adam is meant to te- like be against Shazam. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that'll be interesting. But they're introducing him through a solo movie, yeah. which I doubt will connect. Like Shazam won't be there because then it's like. Well, I gotta wonder show. if he's gonna somehow like it'll be kind of the thing where the events of Shazam are going on and he's kind of watching mm-hmm. it happen and being the pack. He probably and got somehow, freed somehow. And somehow, yeah. Okay, so he was he was part of the old crew, imprisoned so. kind of thing, yeah. and then with the joining of this and like kind of bringing mm-hmm. power back to that realm or whatever that place. I think he so. creates Black Adam. But I know the back. Rock also wanted, like, the reason he wanted to do this was mm-hmm. to fight Henry Cavill, because like he got Boss Logic originally yeah. to do a piece where like Superman just beat the shit out of Black Adam, and he had him on the ground, and Superman was above him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Henry Cavill like isn't out, but he's also not in. Yeah, he's just there. So if the Rock brings him back in oh. for a movie, Man of Steel versus Black yeah. Adam, yeah. That would be a fucking good one because not Batman vs Superman style. He's mm-hmm. a villain. Do not team up. Mm-hmm. The Rock be a bad guy. Be a dick. Be a heel. Yeah, I'm excited though. Speaking to that little comment that you said he's not out, but he's not in kind of thing. Uh, there's a little interview. Um, there's a new thing on YouTube with I think Variety's putting it on. It's basically actors on actors, mm-hmm. and they basically just have them interview each other and just talk openly. So they did one with Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans, mm-hmm. and she posed the question to him about. Uh, returning to Marvel as Captain America. And he's like, it's not a hard no, but it's not a definite yes. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of in that in that realm too with Henry Cavill and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Less vocal, obviously, uh, on Henry Cavill's side because yeah. he's kind of been like whatever, wishy-washy. Mm-hmm. But Chris well, Evans... does not been... know what the state of the DC universe well, is. Well, right? yeah, maybe that's a thing too. But Chris Evans, he's like, I'm done for now. And that's what I got from that, uh, that little interview. Well, I think but it, yeah, there's a rumor sure that he'll forever. be back for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Like, I assume, like, just... For, Cameo-ish. Like, just to, you know, set it up. I, like, I don't think he'll be there Who long knows? term, but, like, after the event. If, of unless they filmed everything already for that ass, that part. I don't In think some so. way, shape, or form. I don't think so. No. They were, no. They were already working on Endgame. They're mm-hmm. not thinking, like, Endgame was just yeah. Endgame. They don't yeah. give a fuck about everything else. Well, they didn't else. set anything else. They didn't set yeah. anything up in Endgame. Yeah, that's for sure. Asked. I think it's wrong. I think the, I, I, like, I don't think Robert Downey Jr. should come back. Scarlett Johansson, she's got her stuff, which is cool. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I'm still excited for that. Wait, that's next and uh, Chris Evans doesn't need to come back either. I think Robert Downey Jr. is a no. Chris Evans, quickly, just to set it up, just to, like, mm-hmm. whatever you need to do, get him out of the way, like, let yeah. him go off and, like, Send him like. Listen, Robert Downey Jr. is only lending his voice, from what I understand. Well, for the what if is different, and that that that's not canon. That I think is fine, Mm -hmm. but yeah, for the movies, I think it shouldn't really be there. Like the fact they're already bringing Loki and Gamora back is like, uh, yeah. eh. Well, Gamora makes sense because yeah, I'm just saying. There's a Gamora too. It just felt like the death, the death in End Infinity War just feels less impactful now that like. A different version of her's back. Yeah, but was she it's really that one. much it's more? A, yeah, I know a different version. I'm just saying. I want stakes. I want them to die and stay dead. They are. She is technically dead. She's back. It's the same but person. She's not. She don't become it's the, not same the same person. <laughs> we'll see. Um, do you guys know who Paul Thomas Anderson is? No, I heard the name. Okay, wonderful, great director. Uh, one of my favorite movies from him was Boogie Nights. He's coming back and he's doing a music or a, um, a 1970s movie style movie which is kind of like his mm-hmm. forte uh it's about a high school kid uh so that's really cool for all you paul thomas anderson fans um other credits to his uh been had a 70s era movie in a while so he's done there will be blood 
nice. The Master, which is a great movie. Phantom Thread. He's done Magnolia, Boogie Nights, Inherent Vice, um, Punch Drunk Love, Boogie Nights I already talked about, and a, a whole bunch of other ones. But anyways, he's a mm-hmm. he's a very, very good filmmaker. So I'm super excited for that. That's going to be sweet. Um, what else is there? Yeah, new film in the works. Take us back to the 70s, California. And then Quentin Tarantino, his next movie won't be coming for a while. He's working on a novel and a play and other stuff. So supposedly his next film to finish off his entire run of making movies is uh, not going to be for a while. Uh, oh, Mark Wahlberg as Sully. Do you guys ever play Uncharted? Yes. No, I never have played it. What? Dude, they're no, great. I what? Highly recommend Dude, I've been it. off the gaming spectrum for quite a while. It's been like Nick Nobody. played Uncharted. What do you mean yeah, you off? True. Nick played Uncharted. I've been playing other stuff, okay? Either way, I think Wahlberg is a terrible choice for Sully. For a young one? I don't know. Even in Uncharted, Drake's, I don't think he, they don't look anything alike. I'm just saying, I feel like... Drake's Deception, when they showed a young... Mm-hmm. Um, both. They showed, it, they showed them both. Sully still looked like Sully. Yeah, I know. But. And so I don't think he's the right guy to do it. I don't know who could do it. I just think Wahlberg, Wahlberg is wrong, um, and I don't know if it's confirmed either. So I just think it is. Mm-hmm. And then lastly... Well, not lastly. There's one more I think you don't have. Uh, Joker. What about Joker? Or- Joker is $2 million away from $1 billion. Whatever. Yeah, that's we know what it's making. whatever. That's it's insane. It's making all the money. Yeah, yeah that's We already good. talked about how much money it makes. Yeah, right? I'm just saying in general, that's like, big, like, that's a big feat. That's a big feat. That's like yeah. No, no, it's just overall. Like for an R-rated still, movie that like yeah. people are saying... Should crash and burn and like you know is gonna be awful like it's not gonna do anything good. I'm just saying. So big W yeah, for the I, so DC people boys. Went at, uh, for spite. I'm could, just I'm just big glad dub for the DC boys. That's all no it no is. no. Big W for actual films. Don't take this away from the DC boys. You it's it. not the DC boys. You leave boys. it for us. No, it's not for you. Fuck you guys, you. you guys want the Snyder cut of a bombastic yeah. uh, movie with featuring Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and the Flash. This and is Cyborg. a yeah. So this is different. Oh. This is not even in the same conversation. They're almost not even in the same league, except for that they put on they're on screen. The Snyder cut's gonna come out, and it's gonna be the not bad. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be enjoyable to watch. It's gonna I be bet you it's decent, gonna, everybody. I it's gonna be better decent. than what we got. I, yeah, which is a very low bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I bet you it's gonna come out. It's like worse <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone's freaking I, out that Aquaman. There was yeah. a there the still of Aquaman stabbing Steppenwolf. It's like you guys well, are hinging real. it on that. Wonder if they've they've been waiting to release this, the the cut because they're upgrading all their CGI that was crap. They're probably fake. Well, no, Snyder mm-hmm. says it's done. He says it's he has it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they want to say. No, but he's showing it to people. That's fine. I don't care. It's there. I'm, I'm just I, I'm speculating that they've been sitting there trying no, to fix it. Okay, everyone are. hated Steppenwolf. Everyone hated the mustache. Let's fix it. I'm gonna say this right now. I genuinely believe that they will eventually release those cuts. Mm-hmm. But they are like I think HBO Max. I swear to God, it's coming out on HBO Max. Okay, they have to do this. Okay, and I'm just saying, I'm excited. Yeah, I don't. And you're gonna you're gonna fucking watch it, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Easy. And you're gonna fucking watch See, it. You know what and the you're thi- gonna like. You it. know the difference is between the Snyder cut and the Joker. No one has to force me to like it. I just like it. <laughs> well, because you got the director's cut already. You didn't get. No, the I got. Justice I got League. what I was supposed to get. <laughs> exactly. The movie. We didn't. Yeah. Whose fault is that? Warner Brothers. Yeah. So. Next time, just put out the fucking movie. Yeah. Don't that- put, don't have thirty different versions of it. Um, and last I thing. Don't, that's what I. We're on the same side. No, I don't think so. I'm pushing for the exact same thing. Yeah, but your version already came out. There's already a movie yeah, that but came it out. It doesn't count if the movie sucks. Yes, it does. It still no. counts. Still there. You're gonna watch it. You're gonna <laughs> like it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna like it. Uh, all right. You guys know who John Legend is? Yes. yes. Do you guys think he's sexy? I don't know. I guess whatever. Photo. I know who he is. I just don't know. I think he is. The, he is. He's not sexy at all. No, nah, he's kind of... He's, he's cute. I think he's a quirky. No, no, no. I wouldn't say quirky. No. I think he's cute. I don't think he's sexy. He's cute. Yeah. People's sexiest like, man. Good for you, th- that's John. That's why I'm asking. Like, they're they're putting him for 2019. I don't know what he's done this year to make him the sexiest man. If they would have done it, they would have done it the year that he came out with all of me. Mm-hmm. But the way I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just... Well, I don't know what their scale is, so I, <clears throat> I don't know. Well, it's just... Okay, I don't know. I'm they sorry. should have put Here's Killian thing, Murphy right? up there. Like, 
Killian Murphy is sexy. When I think this is the one thing that John is just John Legend's gonna have a hard time competing against is that The Rock and Idris Elba were both like yeah. recently the sexiest men alive. Mm-hmm. So I'm holding him up next to them. Yeah. And I'm like, no one. That's a hard See, I, that's a hard thing to compare to, no matter who you are. So I don't think The Rock is sexy. He's hot. He's bangable. I, I think I think oh, Idris he's, The Rock isn't bangable. Am I, I wrong here to just, say that? It's just a little it's too much of a tapestry I, there. So I think that <laughs> no, Idris Elba is sexy. That dude is we like We all know that. He's, yeah, he's aware he's, that he's he aware. has on woman. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he is granted that. I don't think the rock is because the rock is just this <laughs> easy. Sorry. Were you so offended by that statement? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> First uh, Snyder Cut, now The Rock isn't sexy. <laughs> what is going on here? Um, yeah, I, I just, I think the, the Rock just, I don't know, just don't see him as sexy. Yeah. He's not, like, he's a good looking dude for sure. Mm-hmm. And he's charismatic, which can be perceived as sexy. Mm-hmm. But I think he's just too intense. Mm-hmm. Whereas Idris Elba is just like, he's, suave. he's fucking mm-hmm. suave, man. The fact that he's not James Bond is a travesty. He would well, be an outstanding James Bond. Again, they James haven't Bond. announced a new Bond. So. No, for sure. But I think he would be an outstanding Bond. Mm-hmm. Like, everything about him. Um, is he in the DC too? He was not. He was in the MCU. He was yes, he Heimdall. Was, yeah. Heimdall. Heimdall. I'm sworn. I, I'm you know search what? I think he might. Be. He was in something. Yeah, I could have sworn he was in both. I want to say he did. No, something. he's in Suicide Squad too, isn't it? Oh, that's what it is. He's going to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, was he in something? I swear he was already. Uh, or he's going. He might be right about the Suicide Squad thing. I no. Not he's two. definitely right about Suicide that's Squad 1. two. One. It's Suicide Squad one point one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a Suicide Squad because I searched DC yeah. and it's the same it Suicide just Squad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Oh, uh, and then I guess one last thing. They found a guy for Prince uh, Eric. Yeah. Uh, Jonah Howard King. Looks like a Prince Eric. Yeah. Don't Wait, think it really like, matters is this much. Another, like, I have no idea what he's done. Uh, what, what is, who's this guy? Is this another one of those like movies that they just tell about Prince's life? No, that's no, Prince Eric is... for Little Mermaid. Oh, sorry. I should have oh, said Little okay, Mermaid. Yeah. I, that yeah. is Prince Eric for The Little Mermaid, everyone. That is Prince Eric for The Little Mermaid. Is he white? He is. Oh, thank God. That's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Good looking uh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good looking dude. I think he would make a he looks he's got a nice Prince Eric type of look to him. This mm-hmm. is just we should just call us good looking yeah. dudes. Yeah. We just spend a lot of time on good looking guys. Oh, I was gonna say like why I brought just up be the, cool. I just don't understand why I don't understand how they could pick John Legend as that. I don't know what he's done this year to make it. I don't know if they just gave it to him because he decided to rewrite the lyrics for Baby It's Cold Outside for no reason I think whatsoever. You should get deducted points for that, but yeah, yeah. That makes him less sexy. Yeah. Yeah. It makes him less hot. Yeah. Um, you know what? They should put Hansel. He's so hot right now. You know what? Uh, gentlemen, I feel proud of us. We, uh, in that little 20-minute mark, got a little hairy there. But uh, we were able you. to pull it that together. That was on you. You were the one who started it. I got frustrated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys include me. <laughs> no, like, you know, uh, got a little heated. You know, you guys you guys were going together back and forth, and uh, neither of you were giving the other one qu- a quarter. Um, I feel you like guys we were just both like just having a conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, but again, you just didn't pause. There weren't enough pauses in it. Um, yes, but I think we really pulled it together, and uh, we came out with with another just stellar, stellar Another episode banger. of and the F word. The banger. Hello, banger. Um, oh, my God. And, and I just recently watched The Lord of the Rings, all three. They're so amazing still to this day. Oh, my God. Mm. I don't know why. Like, I guess. Uh, you need to watch them. I'm almost wrapped Eventually. up uh, another right installment of Breaking Bad. Oh, nice. Mm. Um, all right. Let's wrap this shit up. Another episode of The F Word is in the tubes. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. hope you're enjoying the other episodes. And if you are, head over to Apple Podcasts. Head over wherever you're listening to podcasts. Drop us a like, a comment, uh, a rating. That would be great. Um, if you aren't feeling the show for whatever reason, um, email us instead. That would be appreciated uh, at the uh, F Word Podcast at gmail.com. If you've recently seen, listened to, or experienced something that you want us to you want to just throw out there, just send it to us and we'll read it on the show. Love to hear your guys' experiences. Make sure you're following the Effort Podcast on Instagram, Lazy Canadian on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook at the Effort Podcast. And uh, again, we just appreciate the fact that you're lending us your ears for another week. I've got a deep dive on a very, very obscure Canadian singer, musician, or sorry, singer, movie producer, radio host, 
just all around super weird dude. Uh, that's coming out. I don't know exactly when it's recorded. Uh, I did it with Sean from the Story of You podcast um, and his buddy Garrett from Vancouver. We did it at his studio, so it was really cool to see us set up with a Skype. And we Skyped in a friend of his from Vancouver because they have another podcast. It's called the D'Angelo Cocksuckers or something like that. It's really funny. And uh, so, yeah, uh, that's it. That's all. Thank you once again for tuning in to the best podcast you'll never know. I'm G. I'm Anthony. I'm Vass. And we are out. (laughs) 